So this is how I grew my shoulders fast. I'm very, very aware I do not have massive C-bum delts, but for me, my shoulders have always been a big weak point. Growing up as a teenager, before I started training, I've always had a very, very narrow frame. I could never get that nice wide V taper kind of look and I could never grow my shoulders. So here's the tips that help me grow my shoulders a lot faster. If I could go back to day one in the gym and apply these shoulder tips straight away, my shoulders would probably be twice as big as they are now. Because of course, time is one aspect of muscle growth, but if you can do everything in your power to minimize all the mistakes that I did, you'll be able to grow so much faster. So let's get straight into it. Number one, understanding just the absolute basics of shoulder anatomy and how to train them evenly. To keep it super simple, we have the front delt, the side delt, and the rear delt. Those are the three main shoulder muscles that you wanna focus on. It's super important that you focus on all three parts of the shoulder evenly as when developed, that's when you get that nice round 3D shoulder kind of look. When they're not developed evenly, which honestly is the case in like 99% of guys, that's when you get not only poor posture and the rounding of the shoulders, but you also get the not nice round 3D shoulder look that you're going for. This happens when your front delts are way more predominant and bigger than the side and rear delts, which is insanely common. The main reason that this happens is not only are we always doing everything in front of us, our phones, our work, eating, we're always using the front delts a little bit more, but the main, main reason is because, especially when starting out, we're always focusing on pressing, especially bench pressing, dumbbell chest, dumbbell press, dumbbell chest pressing, and just trying to grow our chest, which involves a lot of front delt. And especially, especially, especially when you're starting out, you don't have the best form of technique in the world, which is okay because you're just starting out. But what that means is when you're doing pressing, you're probably putting a lot more tension through the front of your shoulder than you would like to. But the good news is to fix this, it's a very, very easy case and just takes a little bit of smart programming. Now, of course, when you're starting out, you still wanna get stronger. So you still wanna develop that strength in your pressing movements, your chest pressing, your shoulder pressing movements. But there's a big but there. You wanna make sure that you're focusing on the side and rear just as much if not more than the front of your delts. My second tip is gonna be frequency. Now, I personally find that the shoulders can take an absolute beating. So do not be scared to train them two to three times per week. And I actually highly, highly recommend training them more than once per week. When I got the best shoulder growth is when I switched from more of like a bro split. So you know, you do a chest day, a back day, a shot, that kind of stuff. When I switched from that to a push pull legs, I got instant shoulder growth within the first like four to six weeks. And I thought it was a magical program. Like, oh my God, push pull legs is the best thing in the world. And it wasn't necessarily that it was the push pull legs. It was just because I went from training shoulders once per week to twice per week. And then I've also done phases where I've done them three times per week. So if you increase the frequency, the amount of times you're training shoulders per week, this will help a ton. Now my third tip, to blow up those shoulders is gonna be volume. Volume simply means the amount of working sets you do per muscle per week. For example, if your program has you doing 15 sets for shoulders over the week, that is your weekly average volume. As we just mentioned in tip two, the shoulders can take an absolute beating. So what I personally found worked well for me was tons of volume, especially on the side and the rear delts. And then of course, we're still hitting the front delts, but just with not as much. So it was a small to moderate amount on the front delts. For example, this might mean three to six hard working sets for the front delts. This might be, you know, three sets of a dumbbell shoulder press, maybe three sets of a Smith machine shoulder press on your second shoulder day. And then for example, maybe 10 plus working sets for the sides and rears. This might be five sets on the first day and five sets on the second day. That would give you a, to a total of 16 working sets for shoulders per week. That's a lot of volume. Now that's just an example. I'm not saying go out and do 16 sets every week for shoulders. Whatever you're starting on, you simply just wanna build up from there. So tip number four, to blow up the delts. And I apologize if all you can hear is Zeus huffing and puffing. I had to pick him up for the coffee break because uh, coffee spot in Australia, you know, he just, he loves the emus. So we had to, <laughs> had to show him. This is such an Australian coffee spot. Anyway, back to it. Tip number four is going to be rep ranges, varying your rep ranges and intensifiers. So what I mean by that is I personally found for my shoulders, varying my rep ranges help them grow a lot. So I would kind of split this up. I would have one day where it'd be more of a lower rep range with going as heavy as possible, probably be between about six to 10 reps. And then I would have the second day, which would be not lightweight. You're still going as heavy as you can, but the reps would be more moderate to high. So probably in between like 10 to 30 reps. And I found that worked really, really well, especially for things like lateral raises and rear delts. I found actually increasing the reps, I got a lot of growth because we do know that it doesn't really matter about the rep ranges as long as you're pushing close to failure 
or you're pushing to failure, you'll get the same muscle growth being in between, you know, that six to 30 rep range. If you're in there and you're pushing close to failure, you're gonna get muscle growth. Now the second, training intensifiers. Training intensifiers is simply just a good way to take the set to failure and beyond. My personal favorite training intensifiers specifically for shoulders were drop sets and rest pause sets. A drop set is simply where you go to failure with one weight, say you're doing lateral raises, 10 kilos, go to absolute failure, then you're gonna drop the weight immediately by about 25 to 30%, so you probably dropped about seven kilos, go to absolute failure again, that's one drop, and you can even do that again, so that's three drops, and that would be one set. It's a really good way, like I said, to go to failure and beyond and get a lot of volume done in a short period of time. Now, rest pause sets is simply where you go to failure with the weight. Instead of dropping the weight, you just stay with the same weight, but you take like a, probably in between 10 to 20 seconds max rest, and then you go again straight away. So let's say you're failing around 10 to 12 reps, you should be able to take like 10-ish seconds. I just like to take three or four big deep breaths and then go again. You should be able to get another four or five reps out. Take another few big deep breaths, go again. You should be able to get another couple of reps out. I personally find doing those two things with my shoulders help them grow a ton. Now tip number five, my last tip is gonna to be to track your progress. Now that is a very, very simple tip, but honestly, I see this overlooked all the time. For example, I bet you know how much weight you can bench press, but if I asked you what weight were you doing for lateral raises six months ago and how many reps could you Get, you probably wouldn't have a clue. Now we know that progressive overload is simply one of the best ways to grow muscle. So if you're not tracking the amount of weight you're getting, the amount of reps you're doing, the amount of volume that you're doing over time, how are you gonna actually know? And that's what I was personally doing wrong. I was just tracking some of my main lifts, but when it came to the smaller muscles, but they're what actually makes the biggest difference, the sides and the rears, like we keep speaking about, I wasn't tracking what weight I could do for lateral raises. Wasn't tracking how many reps I was getting with my cable lateral raises. Wasn't tracking any of my rear delt movements. I was basically just going in and just doing them. I promise you, if you start training your shoulders evenly and putting a lot of focus on the side and rear delts, you increase the frequency, you start training your shoulders two to three times per week, you increase the volume specifically on the side and the rears, but if you increase the frequency, the volume will generally go up as well. You have a little play around with some reps, sets, and chuck in some intensifiers to increase that volume even more. And most importantly, tip number five, you start tracking all of your progress. If you do those five things, I promise your shoulders will 100% grow and that will grow a lot faster than mine did. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. I just, I just feel like that's just, that's just not enough. I am, I'm sorry. Shit coach. You know what? Screenshot this and give it a try. I'm gonna give you two options of a full program that I've personally done and wrote for myself. The first one is gonna be a four day training program option. The second one is gonna be a fifth day program. Now this is specifically designed with a shoulder focus in mind. As you can see, the program's pretty even across all muscle groups with a slight bias to shoulder growth. So, shoulder growth, Sh shoulder growth. So, give those a screenshot, give them a try. And if you do, feel free to drop a comment below, let me know. Chuck it in your story, tag me, I'd love to see it. If not, all good, just message me and be like, that was sick. And yeah, hopefully that helps. See you guys in the next video.